One of the most common reasons why people present for electrodiagnostic evaluations is carpal tunnel syndrome. Generally, people are going to come in and they're going to have pain or numbness or tingling in their hands. We always describe it as mainly taking up these first three fingers, the thumb, index, and middle. Sometimes you'll feel it on the half of the ring finger as well. But I've also noticed that a lot of patients can just feel like the whole hand feels really numb. But so when we're doing this, what we're looking for is seeing if there's actual slowing or disturbance of that nerve. The nerve sends signal out to our hands and we get both sensory and motor input to the, to the hand through those nerves. And so one of the most common reasons, like I said, is carpal tunnel syndrome, which is the median nerve that as it's making its way through what's called the carpal canal at the wrist, it starts to get pinched. And as it gets pinched, patients will get those painful sensations, those paresthesias or numbness and tingling in the hands. And so with the, the electrodiagnostic evaluations, we can actually see if there's slowing of that nerve and if it's gone beyond that and go, gone from slowing to actually causing a smaller signal to be sent. But the reason why this happens is because the nerve has two portions to it. It's got an outer portion, which is its coating, uh, and the inner portion, which is the portion that sends the signal. And so as that coating or myelin sheath starts to become uh, irritated or compressed, we start getting slowing of the signal that's getting through. After that's been compressed long enough, it actually starts to affect the inner portion that sends the signal, which is called the axon. And once that axon starts to become affected, then we're getting into the times when the carpal tunnel is becoming very severe. Our, go our job and our goal is to be able to identify carpal tunnel when it's still in that mild to moderate phase and get somebody over to one of our colleagues in the hand surgery department to be able to make sure that we can get that area decompressed and let that nerve breathe in the right way to be able to send appropriate signals.